What in Carmen San Diego are you doing, huh? Oh, damn it. Stupid directional stick. Eh. Hurrah for brief respite. Alright, here is where you can actually manage to get this stupid bonfire and the blacksmith. Remember that barrel I tried to get? Flung into the wall? Well, I guess this is actually how you do it, because that mummy guy is stupid. Okay, I am about to die here. If I'm not careful here, I will die. Ow. Well, thank God for a bonfire. Well, not yet, but... It'll happen. Don't worry. Can you please get over here? Dude. Like... Oh my god. Can you get your big fat ass over here? Yeah, come on. Move forward. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a bonfire. Thanks. Oh, you wanna come down? Okay. Sure. We take ass beatings here. There you go, good night. I guess you can jump up there. Eh. Yeah. Oh, try that again. Eh. Yeah. There we go. Hurrah for bonfire. Hurrah indeed. This bonfire will be absolutely adored by me. I forgot I had a sublime bone dust. Oh, the, my good old friend. I think his name is McDuff. Large Titanite Shard times two. Five Titanite Shards. This guy has so much loot in here. I don't know why he doesn't care about me taking it. Iron Arrows. Heavy Bolts. Happiness. Do it. Illusion? Oh yeah, he could just walk right through his... It's anvil. It must be an illusion. Fire. Hurrah for fire. Hurrah for artisan. Ring, but be wary of giant. <laughs> oh, why can't they all be this easy? This guy is fucking nuts. Flame, how brightly you burn. <laughs> this guy is crazy, but I love him. Flynn, Flynn, I smell flame upon you. I'm Macduff the blacksmith. All I want is a little flame. So, hand that ember to me. Right now. You imbecile. So you can either give him the ember or you can refuse. I don't know why you would refuse, even though he called you an imbecile, but you should give it to him. <laughs> what a marvelous ember. You've got stones, I pray. Give me stones, and I'll fortify your gear. Alright, I'm pretty sure this guy sells large titanite shards. He sure does, and he is awesome, and I love him. He sells a pretty decent shield, which blocks 100, so in case you didn't get the Drang Lake shield, this is where you would probably get one. A long bow, the Uji Katana, which was, a, which was probably my favorite sword, the weapon in the first game. It's probably pretty good in this game, too. It's got a B scaling in dexterity. So it's probably about as good, if not just as good, as it was in the first game. And we have a Bastard Sword, which I'm not strong enough to use yet, but that will come in handy much later. Well, not much later, but soon it'll be used. Repair, reinforce. Let's get that up to plus five. And let's, let's upgrade the Bastard Sword as well. 
Might as well. We are getting really close to where another NPC is that I want. Flame, dear flame, I give you my all, and you wavered and faltered. <laughs> From the start of time, Flame allowed man to flourish, and even now he devises new fiery arts, but his reason makes him doubt Flame. And so we waver and falter. The power of Flame. Power of the gods. In the end, it is all beyond our reach. And so, flame allures us, and we attempt to harness its power. Flame, dear flame. Flame, dear flame, I give you my own. All right, and he's already repeating himself. All right, so we have this bonfire unlocked. Macduff's workshop will be much useful later on. Much more useful later on. So the one one more thing we have to go do is we have to go get another NPC, which lets you pretty much get boss weapons if you trade in the souls. I don't think he can give you all of them, but I think he can give you some. I think there's two NPCs that give you boss weapons, and I can't remember where the second one is. I know I know who she is. I just don't remember where she is and how you get her. But she she's around somewhere. Where exactly she is, I don't remember. She's like a big she's like a big bird lady. She's she's pretty neat. Yeah, she's she's pretty cool. That bird woman is pretty pretty alright. She's fucking huge and she sells boss weapons and she has she has a voice that's pretty damn similar to like one of my friends in real life, so I just I just, you know eh, I just pretty much, you know, call that NPC that person. For the most part. Like they really sound similar in my opinion, but I'm sure that person will tell me I'm crazy. They're like, I don't sound like that. They do, trust me. They in in my ears they do. But yeah, she's like a giant bird lady and she'll give you... He's gonna blow the fuck up. She, she's like a giant bird lady. And she's fucking weird. She, I think she's like one of the... She reminds me of one of the people from the painting in the first game. You, there's, a, there's a painting in the first game. And you have to fight like crow folk, crow people. Okay, I guess that did nothing special. Oh shit! Nice try, dude. Oh god, stupid lock on keeps wanting to go to him. But yeah, there were like bird guardians in the painting. And if you weren't careful, they'd whoop your ass. They they would beat you up, and they wouldn't do it very mercifully. Hope that killed him. It did. We're getting close. We're getting pretty close to this NPC. Yeah, for the, uh, the bird people, I I don't remember. I don't remember the lore about them. I don't know why they were, you know, half bird. Not wait, what? Not here, illusion. I don't believe you. I don't believe you, you lying motherfucker. Oh, poor guy. Skeptic Spice. What is Skeptic Spice? Lowers required faith for a uh, by one for chosen spell. Okay. That's not going to be very useful. Prudence. I forgot. All these fucking mummy guys are up here. I'm gonna have to sit at the bonfire a whole bunch just to get rid of them. Because I'm pretty sure this game has an anti-grind mechanic. Where you can't grind for souls. 
enemies just stop spawning. Use a fragment branch of your yes, this NPC is the shit, even though he's an asshole. He looks pretty damn cool though. He's got some sweet like mage robes. Still a bit stiff, I'm afraid. <laughs> I must thank you, young traveler. I am Strayed. Strayed, that's his name. Sorcerer of sorts. Couldn't remember his name. I've been a guest for a very long time. But I don't think that anybody will miss me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good indeed. Very good. Weak you may be, but I, strength, will teach you my spells. Alright, so you can either buy stuff from him. Intelligent. Increases intelligence. Absorbs souls in place of the wearer. Extends length of spell effect. That could be cool. Yeah, I could see why mages would come to him. HP and spell use, and a whole bunch of spells that I'm never going to use. And learn gesture. The mock gesture? Oh boy. I'm going to love that gesture. Oh, how long was I sat petrified? Long enough for the old kingdom to have crumbled, I see. Why didn't anyone wake me sooner? <laughs> I don't know why he finds that funny. Drang Lake. I've never heard the name. Is that what they call this place now? Very good. <laughs> Very good indeed. The cursed ones were imprisoned within this land. Of course, you came of your own free will. <laughs> Well, I gotta get the good stuff, the man. feared the cursed ones like a plague. Some people would rather keep dreadful things out of sight, out of mind. In the end, they swept them up and corralled them here. So very typical of meek minds, don't you think? <laughs> Once people became aware of their own frailty, they seized anybody they found undesirable, cursed or no, and impounded them here. Whoever posed even the slightest threat was removed, all so that they could sleep better at night. They even turned the great strain into a stone. <laughs> Many kingdoms rose and fell on this tract of earth. Mine was by no means the first. Anything that has a beginning also has an end. No flame, however brilliant, does not one day splutter and fade. But then it's pretty the much ashes, true of the real world too. The flame reignites and a new kingdom is born, sporting a new face. It is all a curse. <laughs> and it is your cursed flesh that will inherit the flame. <laughs> Pyromancy was God, this guy has a lot of dialogue. Witch of fire. She harnessed the power of flame and melded it into pyromancy. The witch led her daughters into war against the old ones. But legends are legends. What are you prepared to believe? <laughs> Pretty sure he's talking about the um, the witch of Isolith and the bed of chaos and like her weird ass like spider daughters. All right, and he's already repeating himself. Okay, so let's see what I can trade in. I don't think I used any of the souls. 
We got the Pursuer's Ultra Great Sword, which is a Ultra Great Sword, and I probably won't use that because I usually like the lighter weapons. Giant Stone Axe. God, that's 45 strength. And it's only got a D scaling. It's kind of meh. Dragon Rider's Halberd. 18, 17. Eh. Dragon Rider Twin Blade. This is what I usually get. The I usually get the bow. And I was wrong, I guess. I said 15, and it's 18. Shit. Pursuer's Great Shield. Dragon Rider Great Shield. I, I usually do like using the Great Shields. I wonder if I should use the Pursuer's Great Shield. Blocks 100% physical, has 70 stability. I think, well, I think most Great Shields have that number of stability. What's its weight? What is, what is its weight? Is that its weight? 16? That's not bad. I think the one that I like has, is much heavier. I, I think I'm gonna get it. I'm also gonna get this great bow. Feeble, cursed one. Do you really think you can manage the glories that are my spells? <laughs> Alright, Strayed, you're one hell of a shit talker. How many souls are I left? I have... I can use these. And I have the soul of the last giant and the ruined sentinel soul. I guess you can't use the ruined sentinel soul. With the strayed. And I really don't feel like finding out what they can be used for. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. I have a good amount of level ups now. We'll see if that uh, pursuer's great shield is worth anything. Because I know I really like using this bow, but I don't know how good the Pursuer's Great Shield is. Let me let me take a look real quick. Let me take a look at his... While I'm here. Let me take a look at this thing. No, I want to... I guess I can't look at it in here. I have to look at it from here. So, it has kind of crappy magic... Has decent fire resistance. Actually, has quite a good bit of resistances. It's got really good stability. It's like 70. Yeah, it's got. To, yeah, this thing might be really good. It's super heavy, though. It's super heavy, and I bet it uses Twinkling Titanite's upgrade. I'm willing to bet it does. Well, okay, let's go. Let's go level up. Let's go get some level ups. And then I think we'll be done. For now, anyway. Is that a shard you found? It is a shard I have found. Here. I look really stupid it? with this helmet on. So that I may help you. To see light. To see hope. That's actually pretty However much what I want, the, uh, that armor that that NPC has. Or that, that phantom, that player. It's pretty much what I want to use. I have a lot of level ups. First things first, I want to get this up to 15 at least. Um, I want to get this up to 18. Maybe get 11 into adaptability. And let's get one, maybe two into endurance. And one into strength. I think that looks good to me. For the most part, I think that's okay. Can I wear the stupid... Oh, actually, no, I need... Yeah, hold on, hold on. I know, I need to give you this. You're right. I'm sorry. I also need to burn that sublime boat and dust. Thank you. And burn the sublime bone dust. I'm sure I'm going to miss m a lot of these. I'm going to have to remember where these are. Some force is strengthening the Estus Flask. Can I wear the stupid armor now? No, I can't. Motherfucker. Can I change anything around? No, I am still far too heavy.
to be wearing this by like 1%, 2% actually. God damn it. I can wear this though. Yeah, I can wear this stuff and not, not fat roll. So I, I guess this is what I'm rolling with for now. Let's see what this guy has to sell. Let's see if this guy sells anything good. I don't think I can buy anything. I spent all my souls on level ups. Oh, I was hoping that you would come. I've stocked some new things and I thought that you might be interested. They've been selling rather well and I may step up operations soon. I'm, 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 I'm surprising even myself, to be honest. Yeah, this guy's really cool until you sell until you buy a bunch of stuff from him and then he turns into an asshole. So, the Elite Knight armor. That might be good. I think I'm gonna want these. Um I think I'm gonna want these Falconer boots. Actually, no. I'm wearing the Drang Lake boots. I don't need that. I need um. I bet the Elite Knight Gauntlets are really good. If I had like 200 more souls, I'm gonna go Always get 200 souls. Business. I'm gonna go get 200 souls, goddammit. I'm gonna go see if this is worth it. And if not, well then, then I done messed up. I'm gonna go get these 200 souls right now. I am gonna go get these 200 souls. Those look like they're robes from Bloodborne. I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called like the Kanehurst robes or something like that. I just want these fucking 500 souls. Or 200 souls. How many did that get me? Oh, I need, I need, well, actually, no, I'm good. I'm actually good. I'll have one soul left. But I am gonna, I am gonna buy these, cause I need better equipment. And hopefully this doesn't make me fat roll, cause I'd be, I'd be pretty upset. I'd be pretty upset if that made me fat roll. All right, let's go buy this from him and hopefully get frustrated with the fact that I wasted 2,500 souls. I'm glad to see you. Let's see. I need to buy these gloves from you. Thanks. I don't know if there's a way to compare armor in this game. Last time I checked, I don't remember, but... Where are they? Oh. Oh, god damn it, man. Uh, That's sad. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Why are these so good? Why, are, why is hard leather gloves so good? I have one soul left. I'm... Ugh, damn it. Whatever. Fine. I wasted 2,500 souls. 2,500 souls that I'm probably never going to use anyway. I'm a little annoyed, but it's, it's whatever at this point. You know, whatever. All right. Well, I think that's about all I want to do right now. I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you did, you can leave a like or whatever. If not, well... It's tough shit, I guess. When we come back, we'll go through the rest of the Lost Bastille, probably clean up a little bit around Hyde's Tower of Flame, and we will probably move on. Probably also hit up No Man's Wharf, because I think that's the next area. But uh, that'll, all be, that'll all be for next time. Uh, Twitter and Discord links down in the description, as always. And until I come back to do more Dark Souls and other videos, I will see you all later.